There are countless of podcasts available online about all sorts of topics, but the most interesting topic remains life itself. What is the meaning of life? How do you live a good life? And what are proven strategies to live the best life possible? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best podcasts that try to answer those questions. And the very first podcast on this list is called The Daily Stoic. This is a podcast produced by the successful author Ryan Holiday, which you might remember from books like this one, or this one, or this one. And as his book titles, The Ego is the Enemy or The Obstacle is the Way already indicate, Ryan Holiday is a huge fan of stoicism. So in his podcast, The Daily Stoic, he shares stoic life lessons. Now generally, I believe that the philosophy of stoicism is a great one to apply to our modern hectic lives. And I believe that listening to The Daily Stoic is a great way to remind yourself of what is important in life. There is a new episode every single day. Oftentimes they're rather short, just a few minutes, but it's enough to remind you that the stoic mindset should be a part of how you approach life. Now there are also longer episodes, interviews with famous people like Tim Ferriss and Jocko Willink and those are definitely worth your time because it gives Ryan Holiday the opportunity to dive really deep into certain concepts of stoicism. And if you feel like a more stoic approach could benefit your life as well, then definitely make sure to check out The Daily Stoic. Podcast number two is called The Positive Psychology Podcast. I believe that you can make a real argument that the ultimate goal of life is being happy. Now I know there are some people who disagree with that premise but think about it. Isn't everything that you do on a daily basis ultimately trying to guide you towards a happier and more fulfilled life. And since happiness is so important to us, I think it makes sense to approach it from a scientific point of view. What is scientifically proven the best ways to live a meaningful and fulfilled life? And this is exactly what the Positive Psychology Podcast does. Positive psychology is a whole scientific field which sole purpose is to figure out what we can do to increase our well-being. I find this incredibly fascinating and I wish more people knew knew about this because oftentimes what we believe makes us happy is not what actually brings us the most satisfaction. And the Positive Psychology podcast goes through these different misconceptions one by one, debunks them and tells you what you should be doing instead. And by the way, on this channel I make a lot of videos about happiness and positive psychology as well. So if you feel like you want to dive a bit deeper into this topic, make sure to subscribe to get more videos about this in the future. As you can see here, the podcast covers a wide variety variety of different topics from mindset over dealing with pain through exercises of writing to emotional intelligence to building mindfulness habits all of which are incredibly beneficial to your overall well-being. So to me, this podcast has been a great resource of different tips of how I can further improve my life. And it's just really cool to know that every tip that is given in this podcast comes from a scientific background. It's been proven to work. Next on our list of podcasts about life is podcast number three called The One You Feed. The name of the podcast itself, of course, goes back to the ancient story of the two wolves living inside each and every one of us. One of the wolves is the good wolf, which represents things like kindness, bravery and love. The other is a bad wolf, which represents things like greed, hatred and fear. And the two wolves are interlinked in an eternal battle. The question is which wolf will win, the good one or the bad one? And it's entirely up to you because it's always the one that you feed. So with that in mind, this podcast gives you a lot of food for the good wolf. It covers all sorts of topics like overcoming anxiety, dealing with depression, building positive habits, psychology, philosophy. There's really no limits to the topics that are being discussed here. I think for everyone who wants to understand life and themselves a little bit better, this podcast has a lot of lessons to offer. And it does so in a very easily accessible format. A lot of it is just interesting interviews with interesting people, people who have gone through tough times and come out on the other end stronger, sharing their lessons, sharing their motivation. So definitely check out this podcast. But then there are also shorter episodes which are more like a guideline towards a more fulfilled life. Of course there are podcast episodes that might be more relevant to you than others, things that are more applicable to your current life situation, but I can guarantee you if you check out the one you feed, you will definitely find nuggets of wisdom there. And it is the same with the next podcast on our list, which is the Minimalists podcast. The Minimalists are two high school friends who used to be caught up in the corporate 
rat race, were miserable doing that and eventually exchanged that life for a life that is not so much about consumerism and instead is built around finding purpose and meaning in having less. I believe that not buying into consumerism too much is definitely a good goal to aspire towards and those two guys know how it's done. So on the Minimalist podcast they of course talk about topics like the actual physical clutter that always finds a way into our lives and how you can get rid of that but then also about things like digital minimalism or how you can deal with feeling too busy and feeling overstimulated all the time. I think our modern way of living contributes to a lot of unhappiness with people and that's unhappiness that could easily be avoided if you have the right tools. You for example want to build a life where you're not dependent on constant external stimulation always rushing to get the next high, the next kick, often through buying more things that you actually don't really need. Instead you want to be able to feel content with who you are and where you are in life right now. So again a lot of life lessons to be learned from the Minimalist podcast. And if you feel like diving a bit deeper into the topic of minimalism there's a new Netflix documentary available about those two guys that make this podcast. I made a review about this documentary and you can check that out right up here. Last but not least we have podcast number five on our list of podcasts about life and this one is called The Good Life Project. Now taken from their own podcast description, The Good Life Project is about inspirational, intimate and disarmingly unfiltered conversations about living a fully engaged, fiercely connected and meaning drenched life. Quite a premise there, huh? But after listening to some of their interviews, I have to give it to them. They have a unique way of getting those nuggets of wisdom out of their guests. And they actually had a whole list of successful and famous people on there already. Guests like Elizabeth Gilbert, Brené Brown, Seth Godin or Gretchen Rubin, just to name a few here. But then they also have guests on there that might not be quite as famous, that you might not previously have heard of, but that have amazing stories to share as well. And all of those conversations are usually longer than an hour, some of them even even two hours. So if you're looking for just something to listen to in the background, a nice flowing interaction of two interesting people, then definitely give the Good Life Project a shot. I have to say that through this podcast I got the opportunity to get to know a lot of super interesting people. People that I now follow religiously but that I totally would have missed out on if it wasn't for this podcast. And just like the other podcasts on this list, the Good Life Project of course is available on Spotify. I do hope that these podcasts podcast will give you some guidance in your life and help you figure out some of life's toughest questions but if you have other podcasts to recommend definitely do so down in the comments below. I'm always eager to learn about other podcasts that are out there that even I might not know about. For now thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.